I'm going to show you all how the Discord webhook integration works in Pipedream. This is the easiest way to send a message from Pipedream to a Discord channel. In this example, I'm going to grab some random Star Wars data from this cool Star Wars API and then use the results of that to send a random character name into our channel. And in this case, I just want to run this job on a schedule. So I'm going to choose the cron scheduler trigger. But if you're receiving data from a third party webhook or HTTP request or even email, you can choose those triggers instead. So I'll choose the cron scheduler trigger. I'll run this once an hour. And then I'm going to add that Star Wars action to return a random character name. I'll deploy this change and run my workflow just to show you how this step works. Clicking Run Now lets me run my cron job manually instead of having it triggered on this schedule. And then I see the return value for this step returns C3PO in this case. If I run it again, it'll return a different character name. I'll add a new step here and search for Discord. We've got two integrations. There's the bot integration, which we'll go over in the next video and the webhook integration. The webhook integration, again, is the easiest way to just send a message to a channel. So when I select that action, I'm gonna connect my Discord account. When you authorize Pipedream access to your Discord account, you're actually prompted to add the webhook here. And so it says, select the server, we'll do Pipedream test, and select the channel. And that means that this connected account that I'm creating right now is actually specific to this webhook integration. So if you want to create another webhook in a different server or a different channel, you can actually do that. You can connect a new account to a new step and then authorize a different webhook to be created in that server channel combination. I'm going to click Authorize. I've connected my account here. And let's just go to our server settings to show you how that works. If I go there and select webhooks, this is the webhook that I've created, or that Pipedream created on my behalf right there. The last thing I'm gonna do is enter the message. So again, I wanna return this value and send it as the message here. So I can reference any of the steps data from previous steps in my workflow using the steps object. Steps dot return and character name dot dollar return value will give me the value here. Notice that we show you the sample value from the last execution of your workflow just to show you exactly what data would get sent. I'm going to deploy and I'm going to run this one more time. And I'm likely to get a different character in this case because again we're grabbing a random character. So I see that and if I go to my general channel I see that show up here. Run it one more time and I get a different Star Wars character. Okay, so this will run on the hour, every hour. You can change that cron expression. Again, you can have any trigger. So all we're doing here is running some sample Node.js code. You can run any Node.js code here. You can add a step to connect to any of our connected accounts. So GitHub, Reddit, Google Sheets, Spotify, etc., And really pull any data that you want to send to a Discord channel. If you have any questions about how Pipedream works, the best place to do is look at our docs up here, or you can join our Slack community, and we're more than happy to help. So let us know if you have any questions, and happy building.